What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be washing the C7Z06 and I'm going to show you the best pressure washer and foam cannon system that you guys can get for your car that's reasonably priced and very convenient to use. So let's jump right into it. So one thing I want to clear up before we start washing the car is a lot of people think that when you have a vinyl wrap, there's extra steps you got to do or different products you have to use when maintaining your wrap. That's not really true and honestly um, as long as you just get some standard good car soap and you use a pressure washer it's just as easy to maintain as a paint job actually even easier so you can see there's a lot of dirt here um, on the camera it's not picking much of it up but I'm gonna show you how well this pressure washer really cleans the vehicle um, it's been driven in the rain so it's really filthy right now I tend to wash the car about once a week and it always comes out clean uh, if it does start raining, that's when I might do an extra wash throughout the week. So the pressure washer that I use is from Giraffe Tools. This has a 2200 PSI and a 100 foot cord. So you can really extend it out when you're washing your car. You don't have to move the machine around. I had one of those Amazon pressure washers pretty much that you have to move the machine around, the cord is too short, and it only lasted me six months until it broke down. So that's when I decided to invest in a little bit more and get this better system. I do also use a water softener. Um, I live in Brentwood, so I have a lot of hard water, which made the car impossible to wash. The second you washed it, pretty much it would just have dry spots all over. So this water softener really helped. So pretty much what I use to wash my car is the Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. And then I have this Armor All uh, Foam Cannon. And then to finish it off, I do use the Kirkland Microfiber Towels. You can get these at Costco. They're really amazing, they're cheap, and you get a lot of pieces and they're reusable. So make sure you guys stock up on a few of these if you have a Costco nearby. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the system on and I'm gonna show you pretty much how easy it is to use. So you have the power cord right here. All you gotta do is just plug it in. It's gonna be really loud for a couple seconds, but after that, you're good to go. And then, you can see how easy it is to extend. As you guys can see, the cable extends really long. Um, you don't have to like worry about length. I can keep going across the street probably. This is why I really love the system. So what I like to do when I wash my cars, I keep the garage door closed. Like I mentioned earlier, this pressure washer system is very loud. So I like to kind of just keep the garage door closed. That way it's not really making a ton of noise for my neighbors. That's the only downside that I have with this pressure washer, but everything else is perfect. So when I wash my car, I use the 40 degree uh, gray clip and you just pop it in. And that's all you got to do. These other ones you really don't have to use. So this is the only one. And then now we can go ahead and start washing the car. Now that we rinsed the car off, let's go ahead and put the soap in the foam cannon and show you guys how it works. So when filling it up, you don't want to put all the soap in. I used to do that back then and I realized something's off. So pretty much you want to put about a quarter of the soap in here and fill the rest with water. Another thing I want to mention is if you guys have distilled water, use that instead of tap water. It does work a little better by giving you extra foam. So you just take out the um, 40 degree angle clip and then you just attach it like this. You should hear a clicking noise and right here you're going to see there's a little gap. You don't want the gap to be uh, too open. So pretty much you don't want it to be like that. You want to kind of have it slightly all the way closed. Just like that. Play around with it. Uh, depending on the angle, you'll get more foam or you'll get less.
Once I put the soap all over the car, I wait about 10 to 15 minutes to let all the dirt and grime come off. You don't want to rinse it right away, so let the soap do its magic. I'll be real, this is the best $300 I ever spent on a pressure washer. All the other ones on Amazon don't even come close to this one. The conveniency, the self-retracting, everything is just a breeze. Back then on my old system, I was getting so annoyed moving the machine around. The cables are too short, it gets stuck under the wheel arches. So with this one, I don't have to worry about any of that. Now it's time to rinse off the car. So pretty much when you're done washing the car, like I said earlier, you can self-retract it. So all you gotta do, you just yank it, and then you can see, bam. Just like that, you're done. So this is what the microfiber towel looks like. It's very smooth, very soft. What I like to do though, is I rip out the Kirkland tag because you don't wanna dry your car and have this uh, paper scrape all over your paint job or your wrap. What I love about vinyl wrap the most is how easy it is to just dry the car. It just glides just like that. I will mention though that this thing is ceramic coated all over. I got it done like three years ago and the ceramic coating is still on there and it's still really easy to wash and dry the car. And here's the final result. You guys can see it looks extremely clean now. Um, the vinyl wrap looks like I just got it wrapped today. It's beautiful. You come close, it's glistening. That soap and that pressure washer really does its magic. So I highly recommend if you guys are in the market for getting a pressure washer and foam cannon system, get the exact same ones I have. And here's how the vet looks like in the sunlight. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. A lot of you have been sending your love and support to the channel, which means a lot to me. I did not expect so many of you to like the content. So with that being said, I'm going to do my best to drop weekly videos for you guys, give you more information about the C7Z06, more POV drives. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.